Hello, Leo, and welcome back to my channel. T to the Y to the M to the A R A. All right, so today we want to see what's going on in your energy. So, Spirit, please give me a message for the Leo Collective. Remember, this is a general reading. If you want a personal reading, please check out bantamar.com at the link in the description box below. All right, let's see what's coming towards the Leo Collective. There seems to be this energy here where you are doing something way too much. Something. This is either, I don't know, taking the sweets too much or we're doing it in the gym. Uh, something. I, I almost feel like I want to say don't hurt yourself. Whatever this is that you're doing too much, don't hurt yourself. You could be overdoing it in going out on the weekend, spending money, spending finances. But whatever it is, I feel like, Leo, you are overindulging in something. Okay, there's this energy here where whatever whatever you are possibly overindulging in, there seems to be this repeated patterns or something may have happened in the past. This could be over, I almost feel like I want to say overindulging and partying. And let me clarify this before I keep saying this, but I almost want to, feel, I feel like I want to say that. What is it that Leo is overindulging in? What is it, Leo, overindulging in? Okay. You are overindulging in drama. It seems like drama keeps coming towards you. Somebody wants to argue with you. Somebody, misery loves company. Somebody has some unhealed drama, and they keep either disagreeing with you, and I feel like you're in this energy of matching energy. I feel like you're matching energy now. You're like, I've been quiet a, uh, for a long time. You're not going to keep running over me. You're not going to push me into a corner. Because what happens when you push your little chihuahua into a corner? It's going to come out fighting and barking. So I feel like you are, there could be two individuals coming at you and you had enough. You're fed up. So there's this overindulging and way too much drama. You're like, hey, bring it. Who who all got something? I got something for you. I'm going to get you and you and, and this and that. This could be possibly with an air sign. So this could be with a Le Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. I feel like the reason why you are overindulging in this drama because your throat chakra is all the way open. You found your voice. Maybe in the past you were a pushover where people felt like they could bully you, pick on you, gang up on you, uh, use you as a scapegoat. And now you're in this energy of telling your truth. You're telling your truth. You're finding your voice and you're speaking up. You're not, no longer are you going to let people push over you. So... I told you I almost felt like going out. Something somebody could have been arguing or something while they were out. Either arguing with their friends or arguing at an event or something like that is what I see. I feel like this person you were arguing with, this air sign, this could have been a new connection, but y'all couldn't really get things going. Because you and this other person just truly, y'all just not clicking right now. They could have did something to rub you the wrong way. You did something to rub them the wrong way. And now y'all sitting up here arguing and there's some drama here. And you don't normally be arguing with people like this. You probably go off and mind your business or let them have it. But now it's like there's this disagreement or arguing. There's this drama going on. Somebody's name could be with the letter J, first, middle, last name, or location. This could be over a jacket. This could be over in somebody living in New Jersey. I heard jumper or jump or something. Maybe somebody did something on a basketball court. I almost feel like this event that's going on, this could have been with an individual who you felt like if I run into you in public or if I see you somewhere, 
uh, I'm going to tell this person how I feel. So it really seemed like no time was lost. You and this person probably could not have been in each other. Um, yeah, probably wasn't in each other's energy for a while, maybe six months or whatever. But it seemed like no time was lost because whatever this is, when y'all came across each other, all the drama came back up. Something was stirred up. It seemed like because you really told somebody, oh, well, when I see them, I'm going to tell them how I feel. I'm going to speak my mind. And whoever this other person is, they're in this energy of just saying, I'm tired of the drama. They don't want to fight. They don't want to be in the situation. 222 two, two could be important here. Maybe you could be saying that angel number or 22. That is the energy of two is the energy of partnership. That is the energy of decisions and choices. And this person is tired of it. Somebody's birthday could be on the 22nd. For you, it seemed like there are some repeated patterns here and you just straight up got, you got frustrated or you're, yeah. Either somebody did something to you before in the past, like this individual or this individual kept doing something to you and you just really just snapped and just went off on them because you're tired of it. And on the bottom of the deck, we have release. You let it go. I feel like you set off on like you, you really told somebody off or said something or something escalated because you really got tired of somebody trying to run over on you. As you see, what came out here was manipulation. This person tried to manipulate you. It was others involved. Maybe somebody was gossiping, telling other people. And somebody had to intervene or just, you feel like this person just... Either some, something could have happened when somebody was under the influence or you feel like this person was just manipulating the situation and making something into something that it was and it's something that you just truly could not hold on to anymore. Who is this individual? Who is this individual? This is a person, either either you're dating this person, y'all have an open relationship, or this is a person that you see casually. Like, they're not really a friend, but they're associate associate. Y'all really don't have a commitment to each other. Y'all really don't have any loyalty. But somehow this person keeps talking about you. And this is starting to sound messy. But somehow this person just keeps talking about you. Or you feel that this person was a friend and they really just don't know how to be a true friend. They don't have no commitment. They don't know how to be loyal or to buy you a person who's in their corner or something. For others of you, this could have something to do with somebody who is either an older person. So if this is a feminine energy, they're either mature in age, like they older, or this is a mature male or older male. And who else could this be? And this also, for some of you, could be a person who you live long distance to. So you and this person live long distance and maybe y'all reconnected or ran into each other. And then this one things, the drama started back up because it seemed like no time was lost. Like when I see you, it's on site. I'm going to tell you how I feel. I'm going to speak my mind because you thought I forgot. That's what it's given. So... What is serving Leo in this situation? Okay, we have the tower coming out. What's serving you in this situation? You, I feel like you're facing like, you're facing this trauma or whatever this is. You're facing this pain head on. You're not running from it. And this is kind of what's serving you. Even though you know this is going to hurt your feelings, it may be a disaster. It could turn dark. It may turn into something. It could escalate. You know that regardless, regardless, this is fated to happen. That there was going to be some upheaval. That you may run into this person by, by chance. But you're going to approach it. You're not going to run away from the situation. It's like it was too many secrets revealed. You feel like I keep getting this energy that somebody was too manipulative or manipulative to you. So you just couldn't hold it anymore. You feel like this person lacked emotional control. Maybe this person said, I feel like somebody said something really disrespectful. Somebody's birthday could be in October. Somebody's birthday could be on the 10th or the 16th or the, or the 2nd. Somebody's birthday could be in February. So 
So what's serving you is the fact that you're not holding back. You're speaking your mind. And it's like it was karma. You feel like this is fated to happen. I almost feel like somebody was a snake. A snake or had this devilish ten tendencies or just one they're one way when you see them and then they pretend to be another way when they're out of your energy or something. I'm even like I'm feeling like somebody's two faced it. They're one way in your in your space and then they're a different person when they're not around you. So you went and shook something up. Okay, what is not serving Leo at this time? What's not serving you is the fact that you're you're better than this or you outgrew this energy, but something you resorted back to with the Three of Pentacles coming out. This was even a person you once worked with, a co-worker, an ex-friend or something. You could have went to your priest to go talk to. You could have went to a leader. You could have got advice from something. You could have went to a confessional. You could have did something else to handle the situation and to continue building on your success. I feel like somebody was in this energy of saying, hey, I'm a healed person. I'm working on myself. But I feel like this situation took you out of that energy of being healed. Especially with this, you could have, something could involve a Libra. Like, what's not serving you, they feel like you could have just found the mental strength to deal with this situation instead of letting things escalate. Somebody could have went as far as going to jail. If something got physical, somebody could have went to jail. That's not for everybody. For others of you, this could have been over finances or money. Maybe somebody stole some money from somebody or held something back or... Somebody really has somebody's back, but somebody played with um, either somebody's money or job or likelihood or finances or something that was serious, that you took serious. So what's the obstacle here standing in Libra's way, Leo's way, excuse me, Leo's way? Knight of Pentacles. Uh, moving on, taking your dignity and leaving moving away from this situation, thinking of the long term as far as this, uh, what's going to be the long term in this situation. I feel like you're not thinking about the effects of like who all this, this situation could affect or what all is happening here. You could also be dealing with a Capricorn. I feel like what's coming out is that time heals all wounds. And over time, something would have healed or something would have passed. You had got over this. But I feel like there was this energy of there being a blow up. And they're giving, you're the type of person who overcomes adversity. But not with this situation. Something really got underneath your skin and you was in this process of healing. We have the sun coming out in reverse. Somebody's ego got in the way. Somebody's, somebody could have mentioned something about somebody had a miscarriage or abortion or still something like that that could have affected somebody. I feel like this is took you, you are the sun energy, but with the sun kind of coming out in reverse, either somebody brought attention to your secrets and that made you snap or something just really got you out of your character. There's this energy of having unrealistic expectations. Maybe you didn't think that this person would do this, and uh, apparently they did. Apparently they did. And what's coming out is that judgment would have came down on this person. This person would have dealt with judgment regardless. It would have been handled. Karma would have got down. If somebody really did something, talk, talked about your, your medical, your health, or you had surgeries, or you went through this, or you went through that, or your children... Or talked about something that was serious. Maybe you battled with something. And somebody put your business out there and that would set you off. They said that, because I feel like somebody did a lot of malice gossiping. Spirit would have handled this. Judgment would have came down on this person. When somebody puts out, they would get back. So there's this energy of not allowing somebody to learn their karmic lesson or deal with their own karma that would have came down on them. Somebody be 20 years old or their birthday is on the 20th. So what's the outcome here? What's the outcome of this reading? The outcome is you have the seven of pentacles. Make sure you are investing in the right type of the right type of relationships or situations that will pay off. 
There needs to be this energy of being patient next time. Watching something grow, see how something's going to plan um, pan out. Also, be careful who you're investing your time in, investing your energy, who you lend your money to is what I see. Being still, maybe praying about it, watching to see how something will play out. And also not jeopardizing your hard work because you work so hard to even get to where you are right now. So don't jeopardize your hard work. That's what's coming out. Be patient. Don't focus on the negative. Star in the reverse is focusing on the negative. Having a lack of faith that something would be handled. See, look what came out here. See, you could be going through something with Aquarius as well. See, there is a peaceful resolution that's coming out. There is a point where you need to be patient. Don't focus on the negative. Wait for this peaceful resolution to come in. Anybody who stabbed you in the back, talked behind your back, or did all these things, it will be resolved. It's going to be handled. It's time for you to find a peaceful resolution. Move on. End this conflict. Last card that came out. The first card was conflict and drama. Last card is the ending of drama, ending the conflict. Something I saw the King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So something could have been centered around some money. I feel like some money fights or maybe you lent something to somebody or somebody told a secret or something. What can Leo take away from this reading? All right. Operate out of love. Give love. Receive love. It would cheer you up. So focus on love. That's what needs to be the focus here. Find the people who love you, who you can love on. Put your energy into that. Don't focus on the negative. This is, could be loving on your pet pets, loving on your children, loving on your family, loving on people who love on you. That will make you feel a lot better versus this situation. And also get outside, moving around, do something. Don't stay stuck in the house. Don't feel down or bad. Uh, it says your body needs to be moving. You need to drink some water, go exercise, go for a walk, get back out there to cheer yourself up. And some of you are needing to make better choices. As you see what that says, make better choices. It says if you are pissed at where you are right now, stop taking yourself there. It's time for you to make some better choices. Someone is needing to make better choices, either this person or you, one or the two. Give me an angel message. Angel message. All right now, there's an opportunity to forgive. You can either forgive yourself for, because I feel like somebody's saying, oh, I'm better than this. I should not have did this. Why did I go off? Why did I revert back to this person? I'm a changed person. That's not who I am anymore. But something really set me off. Right now, they're saying it's an opportunity to forgive. Don't harbor any hurt or resentment. Deal with the consequences of whatever is happening. And forgive yourself. It says this situation brings you the opportunity to heal, grow, and release negative patterns. It says hold the intention of seeing the others, the other person's inner divine light and goodness. We will help you to release unforgiving thoughts, feelings, and energies and lift you to a higher place of peace and compassion. So they want you to focus on this peace and compassion and let go of these unforgiving thoughts, these negative patterns, just heal and just grow. So this is all I have for you. If anything resonated, please leave a comment down below and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.